what's going on guys i'll be showing you how to make a simple soft drink cup okay so i'm gonna get rid of the camera light and uh what do you call yeah we're not gonna use the default cube so yeah by now press i'm gonna go here and enable my screen case key on not that the screen case you need an add-on for that okay you okay, know let's press one shift a add a uh, I'm going to use a cylinder. You can use circle as well if you want. I'm just going to use cylinder. So there you go. Get the basic cup over there. Scale it a little bit. Nope. Not scale it a little bit. Let's go to object mode. Face tree. Face select. That one. Select that face on the top. Or you can select at the bottom as well. Up to you. And then you have this one. The snapping tool. I'll grab that over there. Alright. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like that would do. Not too big, not too... Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Grab the preset, scale. Yeah, something like what we do. Uh, big size cup there. Can we, uh, I'm gonna delete this face. Or you can just uh, duplicate it, but I'm not gonna use that <laughs> anyway. I'm just gonna, well, delete. Yes, delete face. There we go. Got the cup. Oh, let's make some shape over here. Press E. I mean I to I. Oh, disable this one first. I. What I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of shape. Okay. It's through that to the Z. Z. Okay. Make sure the blue light. I mean the blue line there is visible. Just a little bit. Like that. Alright. No need to be super precise or something. Alright. Now we get the cup. Oh wait, I think I'm gonna scale this a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, that would do. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so now let's make the what do you call cap lid? What do you call? I don't know. So I'm just gonna use a circle. Okay, like a circle. Grab right over there. Oh, I turn. I should turn this on. Now it's more precise. Scale it a little bit until you get something like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna press extrude there to the Z. Oh, let me zoom that a little bit. Extrude that to the Z. Oh, oh, I'm in object mode. Sorry, sorry. Make sure in edit mode. Okay. Edge select, not face. Okay. Make sure this or this one. Okay. E to the Z. Mm, that. That long would do as well if you want. I think I'm gonna make it longer, just like that. Okay, now let me select this one. Extrude scale. Don't worry about that one. That's because of the snapping tool. You can adjust that later if you if if you want. All right, there we go. Just like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna make some shape here. So I'm gonna leave like that. Okay, straw holes. Yep, the straw hole is fine. I'm gonna turn this off now. Now I'm, let's make some shapes. Few shapes. Up to you how shape you want. So will be. There we go. And I'm gonna bring this up. Let's grab that as there. And this one, I'm gonna select the face. E to the Z. See? Just a little bit would do. And over here. Add over there. Scale. Make sure not like that. Just a little bit. Okay. If you want, press 1. You can see a. Uh... Oh, make sure this one. Yeah, that text there one. So you can see the line over there. Don't go over. Yeah, that's too much. Over there. Control B. Scale. But not too much, okay. And maybe add the loop cut. Yeah. Okay, let me turn this off now. Yeah, that should be fine. There are lots of border letters. Or design or something like that. 
It's up to you how you want to do it. Alright, now, for this one, I'm going to make it rounder. Control B, make it rounder. Okay, make sure don't go like that, okay? That's way too much. Move your cursor a little bit there. Add another loop cut. It should be round. Yeah. Look something like that. I think I'm going to make it this thing longer. Yeah. That would do. It may be not fit. It will be. F it will. I mean, fall. Fall? Yes. Over there. Mm. What else do we need to add? Maybe another one. Just for decoration. Oops. Alright, there we go. Okay. Face select. Right click. Uh, let's do it face. Or you can just press E. Okay. E to Z. Not too much. Just a little bit. There we go. Now we got some shape. We know it's not too much. But we got something. Alright. Now, let's do some thickness. Solidify. Alright, now it's solid on the outside, not the inside. This is the inside, I mean. If, if, the neg if it's negative, then it's inside. If it's positive, it's outside. If it's zero, it's neutral. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for the cup, maybe if you want, you can add some solidify too. Let me hide this one. Alright. Fill up the cup. Yeah. That thick would do. If you want it thicker, it's up to you. Increase the thickness. Mm-hmm. That looks good. Alright. Bring it back. You see? No problem. Oh. Yeah. Alright. There's no problem in... What I mean is overlapping, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we have just a little bit there. Oh, this. Did I? Oh, whatever. You don't have to think too much about it. If if you can't see it, I mean, if you can't see it, don't think too much about it, okay? Just have a little bit of fun, and yeah. Wait, I mean the, that one. No, 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 this one. Wait, why I can't... Why can't I see? Oh, it's because of the solidify, right? <laughs> Alright, once you're satisfied with the solid, apply. This one, apply, control A, make sure your cursor is over there, or you can just go to here, apply. Right? Let's see. Do we have doubles? If we have doubles, press A, M, by distance. You have doubles? No. So that's very good if you don't have doubles. And this one. I'm satisfied. Control A to apply. Alright. Edit mode. Select all. M by distance. Alright. We don't have doubles. Triple in low poly or maybe mid poly or something. Alright. Now, let's make the straw. For the straw, well, you can use a curve. You can use anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a... What is best? Cylinder again. I think I'm gonna use circle. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna use a cylinder as well. Or instead of using new mesh, select this one. The cap. Edge select. Select this. And shift D to duplicate. All right. So you don't have to resize all the time. Scale. Oh, and make sure. Separate the all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Um, not M. Alright, I select by loose parts. Alright. So I'm gonna take that that line of there, grab that over there. 
scale. Let me see the scale work. Yeah, it works. Okay, let's set the origin first, okay, to uh, geometry. Now it's in the middle. All right, now press one. If you want, if you want, okay, this, bring it down. This, just bring it everywhere. What I'm doing is because each of these are separate parts, well, you need to see it one by one, right? So yes, that's how I made a model of my gun. I mean, my gun, not my gun. A gun, okay? Just do that, do that. Oh, then it's on. Mm -hmm, over there. We would take that to the Y. Hmm. That's way too sharp. Okay, rotate. Or you can just use DG, I believe. Or you can just use a knife tool. I mean, whatever. Let me try this one. I'm gonna go to this one, select this one. Select that one, grab that to Z. All of them, all of them, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. All right. So, let me turn this out, bring this back. Mm, no, I turn it, I turn this on, make it look cooler. Not cooler, it helps, okay? See? Two separate, three separate objects. But this one. Press one. G is dead. Alright. Mm -hmm. Over there. Let's do it again. Bring it over there. Rotate. Like that. Hmm. It may be not perfect. Not that there are lots of ways of making this. So it'll be. Okay, like that. Add more loop cuts. Scroll, 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 scroll. There we go. Control B. Control B for the loop cuts. Oh, that's too much. Nope, not that one. Uh, so, oh, did I, what did I select? Did I think I select what the face. Alright, so I'm going to select this, 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 this. I'm just going to do it manually. Alright. There we go. Now I'm going to control B. Maybe control B. Or I can just, uh, what it call that? Uh, just control B. Alright. What is over there? Alright, and oh, put the face select, next in face select. Alright, uh, I should say it's long normal. Yes. Nope. Let's do it individual face. Let's do it face. Scale. Ah, yeah. Something like that. Maybe not perfect. Oh, you know what? I don't need it. Because I am lazy. I'm just gonna make it like that. Control B and see. That's all. <laughs> Sorry for, being, for making hard time for you. All right, there we go. Let's add some solidify on it. If you want, if you want, okay. And this one, shade smooth blue. That's very, actually it's very nice, but I don't like. So I'm gonna go to here, normal, outer smooth. See, it's smooth now. And for this one as well, same, shade smooth. Ah, that's, that's the issue there, and outer smooth. See, easy, right? Now let's go to shading. So hope, I hope this tutorial doesn't take about 10 minutes, but let's hope it's not, okay? Okay, for the most basic color I saw, red. Don't know what brand, 
but just red. Let me zoom that out. Specular, we don't need that. If you want, you can increase it. Roughness, well, it's not a glass. It's just a plastic. There we go. Basic cup. And this one. If you want to make it transparent, then make it transparent. Just use the alpha, okay? Uh, and this one, I'm gonna just the roughness over there. Where's the alpha there? That's the alpha. The alpha actually acts as a transparent, okay? There we go. Alright, oh, let me reduce it again. Hmm. Ah, uh, I should set it to cycle. Alright. Now it's a little bit transparent. Not too much, okay? Don't overdo it. Just a little bit until you can see just some of the lines there. Alright, we don't want it to be metallic, the roughness. So we sure don't want it to be like that. Maybe you want, it's up to you. Just like that, up the specular because it's kind of shiny. And same goes as this as well, right? Uh, for this draw, well, let's just say. White, nope, not white. Blue, green, something grayish. Gray, specular, roughness. Nope, don't need that. Just over there. You can for the specular and the roughness. Adjust, adjust it uh, until you got something that you like. Okay, it's all up to you for that. And for the alpha, I'm gonna reduce. Uh, yes, I'm gonna reduce. Just a little bit. Right. Not that there's, well, it's just a color. That's because we don't have light. Okay, so let's add the light. Shift add to add. Plane. Why do I add plane? Easy. Shadow catcher. Alright, now we got that over there. I'll add the light now. Point. Sun, area, or whatever you want. I'm going to use the point now. But I'm going to increase the power of it. 500, maybe. Alright. Grab that to the to there. Alright, if you don't want the shadow, I mean to be like that. Uh the radius, up the radius, okay? So the shadow should be uh, not very harsh. Add again, bring it over there. Alright, so I don't want the shadow over there, so I don't need that shadow. Cash shadow, nope. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Let's decrease this one a little bit more. Shading. The alpha. The alpha actually making it uh, transparent or maybe disappear. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit here. One. No, I'm okay. This is the final process. I'm not gonna add texture or anything else. I'm just gonna add like this, okay? Grab that over there. Hmm, is it fit? Yes, it's fit. Well, almost. Alright, bring that up. <laughs> hmm, yes, it's good. And this one. Too long? I don't think so. So, here we go. Not, I think the, this one color is boring, so. Let me, uh, oh, what did I just, I think I just this one. Not this one, okay, not the sub, not the subsurface, okay? This one, the base color. That's my mistake. Sorry, sorry. Wait over there. Bring it over there. Wait, I can't see. Bring it closer this way to big. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like green. Green would do, and maybe I decrease the roughness. I mean, not the roughness, the alpha. Something like that. Okay. So guys, there it is. That's how to model a simple uh, soft uh, soft cup drink. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, try it yourself, have some fun, and for the straw, note that no, no, not for the straw. Just not only just a straw. All of these have yeah, lots of way, lots of technique, and. You just have to find out on your own, okay? And let's say you want to add some 
decoration on this. You can add the texture, you can paint, and you can add anything on it. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and try it yourself. So I think this is a little bit longer video. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and happy blendering. Okay now, bye now.